These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. I'm Faye Fredericks with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. Caught on camera, a big backup on the tent today after a semi truck catches fire. Traffic stopped briefly in both directions near baseline as fire crews responded. No word just yet on what sparked the flames. We do know the driver was able to escape safely. Developing tonight, three people found dead in an Ahwatukee apartment Monday. And ever since, ABC 15 has been asking questions about what happened. And now police telling us they believe all three people were murdered. Phoenix police identifying the victims, a man and a woman in their 20s and another man in his 30s. Tonight, we're hearing from the brother of Sam Lott, one of those victims. It's extremely difficult for us to know that like his last moments might have been a fear or trauma and to know that somebody would do a horrific act like that is in our community somewhere. We also learned three animals were killed at the apartment near 48th Street in Warner. Again, investigators believe someone is out there responsible for this. With President Biden sidelined by COVID, all eyes are on Vice President Kamala Harris now as she hits the campaign trail this weekend. The VP in North Carolina today making her pitch to voters and criticizing newly named GOP running mate J.D. Vance's remarks at the RNC last night. Harris says Vance's speech was compelling, but quote, not the full story. You cannot claim to be for unity if you try to overturn a free and fair election. <laughs> Meanwhile, virtual voting to decide the Democratic Party's official nominee will not begin early. The DNC pushing things back one week as calls for President Biden to step aside continue to grow. It's back to school for students and back to work for teachers and staff. That also includes crossing guards. The Chandler Unified School District tells us safety is a top priority for them, and that includes getting kids to and from school safely. Now, meanwhile, Maricopa Association of Governments is offering free crossing guard training. There are three different sessions to choose from. I always think, like, what if that was your child walking through the crosswalk and somebody came speeding through or turning right in front of them? More information right there on your screen on those three sessions. We also posted a link to register on our website, abc15.com. President Biden's COVID diagnosis comes as we monitor a summer spike across the nation, including here in Arizona. Arizona Department of Health are now relaunching its free mobile COVID-19 vaccination program. State COVID surveillance dashboard shows COVID cases up by almost 50 percent compared to last month. And a CDC map shows the states in dark purple are where the number of COVID cases reported in emergency rooms and detected in wastewater are rising right now. The senior director of the Association of American Medical Colleges telling Scripps News new COVID-19 variants appear more transmittable. So it's important to stay home if you're sick. If you're sick, you need to not be around others. should definitely consider masking um, so that you don't pass this on to other people. Most of the hospitalizations we're seeing are from people over the age of 65, people who have immunocompromising conditions. Dr. McCoy says getting vaccinated is key to protecting yourself from new variants. You can schedule an appointment at azdhs.gov. Good news for borrowers. President Biden canceling another $1.2 billion of student loan debt. This latest round impacts 35,000 public sector workers, including teachers, nurses, and firefighters. Borrowers qualify for debt relief through the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program. It was actually created nearly two decades ago, but the Biden administration expanded it to make it easier to qualify. To date, Biden has canceled more than $168 billion worth of federal student loan debt for nearly $4.8 million. Americans. I'm Chief Meteorologist Amber Sellins tracking your forecast as we head into weather action mode here across Arizona for the Valley. Excessive heat warnings now in effect for Friday and Saturday out to the Northwest Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures getting dangerously hot and for Phoenix we will start the day in the 90s and go up to a scorching 116 degrees in the afternoon tomorrow. We also have a 20% chance for monsoon storms with the best bet tomorrow evening and we're monitoring air quality as well an air quality alert. This is an ozone high pollution advisory has been posted. This is in effect now through Friday. So if you have asthma, COPD, any kind of respiratory condition, you want to limit your time outside or you could have some health impacts from that pollution. Air quality does look to get better over the weekend. Temperatures will drop just a little bit as monsoon moisture increases and we're now up to a 30% chance for showers and thunderstorms Sunday and early next week.
These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.